Have you ever wondered what is the difference between sea, lake, and ocean? In this video, we explore the unique characteristics of oceans, seas, and lakes and highlight the differences between them. To understand the differences between seas, lakes, and oceans, we first need to review the characteristics of each. Let's start with oceans. Oceans are large bodies of salt water that cover approximately 71% of the Earth's surface. They are deep and vast, with an average depth of around 3,800 meters. Oceans are also home to a diverse range of marine life, including whales, dolphins, sharks, and a variety of fish species. The world's five oceans are the Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Arctic, and Southern Oceans. Seas are smaller bodies of salt water that are partially enclosed by land. They are usually connected to the ocean and often share similar characteristics, such as salt water and marine life. However, seas are usually shallower than oceans and have a smaller surface area. The Mediterranean Sea, the Red Sea, and the Caribbean Sea are all examples of seas. Lakes, on the other hand, are bodies of water that are surrounded by land. They can be either fresh water or salt water and are usually much smaller than oceans or seas. Lakes are often formed by glaciers, rivers, or underground springs. Some of the largest lakes in the world include the Caspian Sea, Lake Superior, and Lake Victoria. In general, there are six major differences between the sea, lake, and ocean. 1. Unlike oceans and seas, lakes are not connected to other open waters, which is the main difference between lakes, seas, and oceans. Seas are connected to oceans and open waters through straits, such as the Strait of Gibraltar, which connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Atlantic Ocean. But lakes are isolated from the open seas and oceans. 2. The main difference between oceans, seas, and lakes is their salinity level. Oceans and seas are both bodies of salt water, with oceans usually being saltier than seas due to their larger size and higher evaporation rate. Lakes, on the other hand, can be either freshwater or saltwater, depending on their location and source of water. The average salinity of oceans is about 35 parts per thousand, PSU, or 3.5 percent, while the salinity of seas can range from 30 to 40 PSU. Some examples of seas with higher salinity levels than the average ocean include the Red Sea, with salinity levels up to 41 PSU, and the Mediterranean Sea, with salinity levels ranging from 38 to 39 PSU. On the other hand, some seas have lower salinity levels, such as the Baltic Sea, with salinity levels ranging from 7 to 12 PSU. 3. Their size is another difference between oceans, seas, and lakes. Oceans are by far the largest bodies of water on Earth, covering approximately 361 million square kilometers. Seas are usually smaller than oceans, with an average size of around 2 million square kilometers. On the other hand, lakes are much smaller than oceans and seas, with an average size of around 500 square kilometers. 4. Oceans are much deeper than seas and lakes. The deepest part of the ocean, the Mariana Trench, is over 36,000 feet deep, while the average depth of the world's seas is around 12,000 feet. Lakes are much shallower in comparison. 5. Oceans and seas have strong currents, which are influenced by factors such as wind, topography, and water density. These currents are wind-driven currents or thermohaline circulation, but lakes usually do not have significant currents. 6. Marine life in oceans, seas, and lakes also differs. Oceans are home to a diverse range of marine life, including large mammals, sharks, and a variety of fish species. Seas also support marine life, although they are usually home to smaller fish species. On the other hand, lakes support a range of freshwater fish species, such as trout, bass, and catfish. In conclusion, 
While oceans, seas, and lakes are all bodies of water, they differ in many ways, including their connection, salinity, size, marine life, and human interaction. Each body of water plays a vital role in the Earth's ecosystem, and it's important to understand and appreciate the unique characteristics of each.